वेलकम एवरीवन द क्वेश्चन इज ए यूनिफॉर्म सिलेंडर रॉड सिलेंडर रॉड इज अ न्यू थिंग टू यू मे बी दिस टाइप ऑफ रॉड इज यूज्ड टू डिटरमाइन द मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इन सिविल केसेस एंड टू डिटरमाइन द मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया एंड सेंटर ऑफ मासेस बट हियर इट इज यूज्ड लेट अस सी फॉर व्हाट पर्पस इट इज यूज्ड सिलेंडर रॉड ऑफ लेंथ कैपिटल एल क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया कैपिटल ए and yong modulus y obviously it is a property of the material and is acted upon by the forces as shown in the figure so somehow it is said this two yong forces acted from left to right and we can consider it is a division something like that so up to a length l by 3 this two yong forces acting and that's why it may elongate and on this end from right to left this 3n force is acting and on this length to l by 3 so you can say l by 3 for the length l by 3 this 2n force is acting and for the length 2l by 3 this 3n force is acting okay the elongation of the rod is four options are given obviously option a 3fl by 5ay option b 2fl by 5ay option c 3fl divided by 8ay and option d is 8fl divided by 3ay okay let us try to understand what we know about the yong modulus yong modulus is basically defined as the ratio of the longitudinal strain to that of the longitudinal strain so it is capital a divided by a the force applied divided by the cross sectional area change in length divided by the initial length longitudinal stress divided by the longitudinal strain now for this section if i want to find it out then the yong modulus is same the force applied on this section is 2f the cross sectional area of this section is capital a and let us say for this section the increase in length is l1 and the total length is l by 3 for this section okay and for this section if i want to determine then y is equal to 3 capital a divided by a cross sectional area remains unchanged and this is observed from the figure it remains same the elongated or the length elongation due to it we can see it is l2 and the total length is actually 2 capital l divided by 3 okay now here we have to find out the elongation of the rod small l1 this side small l2 sorry small l1 this side and the small l2 this side small l1 in the direction from left to right and small l2 in the direction from right to left So let us try to find it out. What is the value of L one here? So L one divided by L by three equal to two capital A divided by A Y. Okay. So L one is equal to two capital A divided by A Y multiplied by L by three. And here it becomes L two divided by two capital L divided by three. and it becomes 3 capital f divided by capital a into y and this l2 becomes 3 capital a divided by a y into 2 l divided by 3 so this 3 and this 3 cancels out so it becomes a into 2 l divided by a y so what is the total elongation let us consider the total elongation here by stretching it on the both side it is small l so small l is equal to sum of l1 plus l2 okay so what is l1 it is 2 divided by 3 a capital l divided by a y and here it is 2 into a n divided by a y so i can take this f l divided by a y as common so this will become 2 by 3 plus of 2 so f capital l 
divided by ay so 3 is the lcm 2 is here plus 6 so it becomes 8 capital f into l divided by 3 into ay so the total elongation by applying a force to a from left to right by applying force to a from right to left the total elongation if i calculate then it will be 8 fl divided by 3 ay so option d is here the correct answer thank you all of you